I mean, it's like I've got a camera now. I can do it now. Film some porn with it. Next, <laughs> hey, hey, we're back. But yeah, so Star Wars Rebels and the Clone Wars. Yeah, I'm sorry. We had a little bit of technical difficulties in between episodes, and Billy was telling me all about the fascinating world of what's canon in Star Wars and what's not. Go ahead and tell me again, please. I, I wasn't paying attention. All the movies. All the movies, okay. Star Wars The Clone Wars. What are you fucking doing? <laughs> Apparently beating a dead horse. <laughs> Star Wars The Clone Wars. Okay. And that's the TV show, animated one, and Star Wars Rebels, the other animated TV show. That's happening right now. Oh, I was going to say, I didn't even know they had another one. And then uh, any any other movies that come out are going to be... And everything else is now rebranded as Star Wars Legacy. Oh. So maybe some of it will be kind of canon. Or, you know, touched upon is what I'm guessing they're going to try and do with that. But they want people to still, you know, still make their own stuff with it. Yeah. Because, yay. You know, if you don't, fuck you. <clears throat> well, I remember, like, Jimmy was telling me a long time ago about, like, some fanfic or some shit people were doing. And that's right. I think, um, you, if you recall in one of our older episodes, <coughs> I had said, if I wanted to commit suicide, I'd want another planet to crash into Earth, and then I'd climb up on top of a mountain and scream at it until, I, oh, yeah. until it collides yep. with me first. I believe that's what happens in one of the fanfics that somebody wrote. I don't know if it was a fanfic or if it was an actual story by somebody who's of note, but uh, somebody wrote a story like that, and that's how Chewbacca dies. Is a fucking planet or a star destroyer or something like that? I believe that it was a moon. Might have been a moon. I think it was a moon, too. Yeah, a moon uh, crashed yeah. into a planet, and he's just... Yeah, he's just on top of a mountain fucking screaming at it. And it's like, that would be the best way to die. That would be metal. Because it would be, yeah, you would be remembered if anybody survived... You would be the most fucking metal dude of all time. Because it's like, even in the face of absolute, like, just destruction, when the moon from Majora's Mask is just crashing in and upon you, you're just like, <laughs> fuck you! Yeah! Like, you're just screaming at this fucking moon. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh my but god. I, I showed you that one shirt I got, right? With the with the moon on it? Oh yeah. Yeah, the creepy shirt. From Fangamer.net. Everybody should go on down to Fangamer.net. And pick up a shirt today. Use Chinstrap Chaps as the coupon code. You get 5% <laughs> off. <laughs> I wish. I wish, man. Fan, have, did, did you ever check that site out or no? Nope. I gave you that little pamphlet thingy dingy. Still in my coat. Yeah. Got it. It's, uh, it's, it blocks any bullets that want to go into my heart. <laughs> <laughs> One day. You're going to get shot and then you're just like... You pull it out, like, <laughs> this little piece of I'm paper. Like, Dude, fan gamers are the fucking shit. Where? You can stop a bullet. I'm gonna buy a shirt. <laughs> and then and then the guy just shoots you again <laughs> and then you're just dead. <laughs> if only he had a fan gamer bulletproof the <laughs> Zelda t shirt, you know? <laughs> like a bulletproof t shirt. I, I that would uh, be such I'm a actually, thick I'm ass actually shirt. wearing a fan gamer shirt right now. It's uh the Space Pirates Frigate Orpheon t-shirt. I thought you were going to say. I, I'm actually wearing a bulletproof shirt right now. No, no I, I have yet to test if this is bulletproof, but I don't really feel like I, I should. Yeah, I don't think uh, testing that will be very... This is actually a rather thin shirt. Worth a while. Uh, yeah, it's actually like... It's, it's uh, good material. It's good material. Feel that. It's good material, but it's thin. It's, like, it's thin, yeah. You see, that's that's... That's what they want you to think. Really, what they want you to do. it's like uh, extreme spider silk. <laughs> oh God! What if like fangamer.net, link in the description. If they actually, if they actually did advertise all their shirts as being bulletproof, and then like they got a lawsuit for it. <laughs> yeah, they would definitely get lawsuits for that. Well, who would be stupid enough to believe it? Like it's not thick. It's not a fucking thick shirt. <laughs> Every time someone. <laughs> And then they look over all the bodies of everyone who's tried it out, and you notice that the shirts, they have no p penetration holes or anything, they're perfectly fine. It was just the bullet still hitting because the shirt doesn't stop the kinetic force. <laughs> oh, yeah. It only stops the piercing power. <laughs> so they still get hit by a bullet that's going a bullet, you know, fucking... Yeah. <laughs> his speeds, but... <laughs> like, it's, it's almost as if they got hit by one of those beanbag things. You know, like how they have those riot-controlled beanbags. Yeah, except for a really small one that would fucking murder you. Yeah. What if you shot me in the face? That was a risk we were willing to take. <laughs> 
I, I, I still actually want to see that uh, Dumb and Dumber 2. Oh, the uh, the new the Dumb and Dumber. The Dumbening. Yeah. <laughs> the Dumbening. I kind of wanted to see it, but I, I hate going to the theater, so. I have heard that it's not very good, but, well, you Well, the know, first movie I, was stupid as hell, but it's, like, yeah. it's one of those, like, it's like a Zoolander sort of thing. It was one of those uh, people I mean, were saying that it's trying to recapture what they had, but it's oh, not. Yeah. That's what I heard, too. But I still want to see it, just because it's like, I don't know, I like the first movie a lot, and I don't know. It, I think it would just be kind of cool to see Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels on, on screen together again. Yeah. After so long, you know. See the chem. That yeah, because it's like they did have a good chemistry in that film. Really, Bugs? Get the fuck out of my way. You can be my posse, but get the fuck out of my way. I can't go over there because of that stupid seismic thing. Does that mean, like, these guys could literally just stomp on the ground? They could literally just stomp on the ground, and then they're like, Oh, I don't want to go anywhere near him, because he's making noise. You just jump up on him. Oh! <laughs> what happened to that dude? You just jump constantly and go, Ah! <laughs> yeah. And the lion's yeah. okay, and stay away. He's like, no, fuck that guy, he's creepy. <laughs> he makes a lot of noise, and I don't like it. God damn it, climb up the ladder. There you go. <laughs> Ladders are hard. Alright, this is kind of like Normandy here, so it's kind of cool, actually. It's like, ah! Get to the chopper! What chopper? We don't have choppers! At least the only thing that are dying are helpless animals. We yeah. don't know any better. Where's Pete at when you need him? <laughs> Those poor defenseless ant lion in fucking Half Life! It's fucking sick, man! It's fuck you! It's fuck you! <laughs> Also, this is a cheating. Are you okay? Oh! Oh, oh! oh God! Oh God! <laughs> that would be like Tim. One of the, Tim. <laughs> yeah, that would be that kind of moment. Just Tim, no, Tim! I loved you, man. And it's just all the blood all over <laughs> yeah. your face. What are you doing, just standing there, jack off? J jack it off. I don't like your jack off face. I don't like your jack off name. I don't like you, jack off. What's that from? I don't know. It's from some movie, but I just I the only reason I know it is because it's a uh, it has the word jack off. No, or? there's a vi there's a video of the hundred best insults. Oh all yeah, time, and I love that video. I love that video because there's like a part later in it where it's just nothing but horrible swearing, and it's just funny. It's fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! You cock juggling thunder cunt! Like that's one of them. Oh. <laughs> Like, how do you, I don't know, thunder cut? Like, there's just something that sounds like a fucking superhero. <laughs> you know, like... Yeah. Crop circle! What's in the sky? It's a bird, it's a plane! It's thunder cut! It, it's thunder cut! <laughs> Especially because you're cock juggling, so it's like, I don't know. Is that being DP'd, basically? I mean... Multiple dicks. I mean, I, I feel like more of, like, actually juggling. Oh. Actually juggling cocks. That doesn't sound pleasant at all. Come on, that guy's dead. Oh! <laughs> if you didn't kill him with a bullet, it's gonna get fucking Owned crushed. by that fucking barrel. <laughs> barrel. It's a barrel that has braille on it. Oh, God, that's the worst coming. Oh! <laughs> you know how the guy fucking died? <laughs> oh, hold on, wait a minute. Oh, God damn it. I am impervious to barrel side yellow eyes. <laughs> I've got the barrel proof armor from fangamer.net. <laughs> ding! Yeah. <laughs> Every fucking time it's just ding! <coughs> I'm gonna stab him with this bottle. That guy that you hit with the barrel, you know what that was? It was just basically. Oh, girl, him! And then you threw the barrel at him, and then. Like slow mo, it's slowly but surely coming towards him, and then he like X rays, and all of his fucking like his pelvis breaks, oh. his legs break, oh. and fucking the like back oh. of his spine is just. Oh god! And that's <laughs> that's what you did. He's not actually dead. He's just laying on the ground paralyzed. He's just like, ah. you just ah. <laughs> you paralyzed that man and left him to die in a pool of his other friend's blood. Oh god! You're a terrible person. <laughs> When you put it that way, it, it kind of makes me uh, a little sympathetic towards these fucking guys, except, fuck you. I'm gonna toss a grenade at you. That's war, man. 
That's why you don't want to go to war. How many other games let you, like, actually throw grenades back at people, you know? Uh, not very many. Like, I know you could... normally, people just, like, cook the grenade and throw it and... <laughs> oh, yeah, but I mean, like, I know, like, in fucking, uh... Like, in Call of Duty and shit, you can do that, but, like... But, I mean, like, there's a button prompt involved. Like, this, it's like you can actually, like, pick it up and then throw it back, like, as a physical object, not just, like, as a as a button prompt thing, you Yeah. Know? And, uh... Well, you can do that in Uncharted, too, actually. No one uses grenades in Call of Duty anymore, Taylor. Do That's they not? so 2000 late. Do they not? The whole new thing with the, uh, advanced warfare I've been seeing is, uh... It's like a fucking grenade launcher. Just bloop! Uh... And then it shoots out the grenade yeah, like that. naturally. But I haven't played Advanced Warfare. I haven't played anything since Blops. Bloops. Bloops. Boom Blocks. You haven't played anything since <coughs> Call of Duty Boom Blocks? Hey, yeah, Bloom Blocks. Ooh. I think the... Oh God. I think the last time I played Call of Duty was actually here. Really? With... Fucking, uh... I think Matt. He... I don't remember. <laughs> it was a while ago. We that were was, that would playing be, on the Xbox. That would be many years ago. Yeah, if it was on Xbox, because I haven't had an Xbox in, like, two years. And he's like, here, Bill, I'm going to face you. I'm, I'm gonna, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to beat you up, man. I'm going to kick your ass. And I'm like, no, you won't. And then he didn't. <laughs> it's like, I think of uh, Mike Tyson when I do that. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> wow, those two got up, like, quickly. Yeah. <clears throat> They're like, just chilling hot. We're gonna scare him. I watched, it's gonna be so fun. <gasps> I watched this Mike Tyson fight the other day. I forgot who the other dude was, but it was uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. No, it wasn't Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> oh my god! It was it was some fat white dude <laughs> with like a mustache. Uh, not Butterbean. Not Butterbean. No, it wasn't Butterbean. He's not but, dead either. <laughs> He's just knocked out. How he got just hit with a fucking molten crossbow bolt? He got in the gooch. He's Ugh. he's he's done. Yeah, he's done. That guy just got it like in the shoulder. This dude? Yeah. Can you see it? No. That's anyway, just, oh. anyway, I was watching this Mike yeah. Tyson fight. I was just scared of him. And uh, <clears throat> it lasted like like the whole fight was like a minute. <laughs> But, like, this fat white dude goes up against a 19-year-old Mike Tyson. <laughs> and I think Mike Tyson had, like, about 14 wins at that point. All by knockout. No losses, obviously. Yeah. And he just fucking destroys this dude. Like, he fucking... he His nose, like, was broken within the first, like, 30 seconds. And he's just bleeding out of his fucking nose. Ugh. And, like, if you look closely, like, after he falls down, it almost looked like... Tyson tore his nose, like, up, kind of. Like, like, it got broken, then he punched it up. Yeah, like, almost... And, like, like the, almost, the bottom of it kind of got separated from his lip. Yeah, like, almost as if... I, I mean, I didn't see it, like, they didn't show a close-up, because the whole... The entire video was, like, two and a half minutes. Like, that was the whole fight. Yeah, just him getting his ass whooped. <clears throat> yeah, and... Even the, com even the commentators are like, I think he might have a torn nose or something like that. And it looks like it, because it's, like, fucking pouring blood Ugh. everywhere. It was fucking terrible. But I enjoyed every second of it, because he fucking... It's just, like, it's just one of those things where it's, like, Iron Mike Tyson, like, you know how badass he is, like, now. I mean, I think it was... I forgot when that fight was. It must, it must have been, like, 83 or something like that. When but he was it's a young like, man. But, yeah, but it's, like, you look you look at it, and you're, you just know. Like, you already know. I mean, like, he's still, like, an up-and-comer, so it's like, I don't know, maybe that other guy has a chance, but it's just some fucking nobody. Like, just some fat white boxer who's like, eh, you know, like, that's his only, like... I'm here to kick your ass and make money. Oh, my yeah, God. yeah, and then my he just... Fucking it's like nothing, nothing, none of, no training could have prepared him for that fucking fight against Tyson. Like, he's fucking... I love this part, too, watch, because it's just... Like, they just come in from out of nowhere. And just, just like, oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh. We got him, we got him. Alright, as long as they don't come up on this tower, we should be fine. We should be fine. We should- OH MY, my no! FUCKING GOD! THEY'RE EVERYWHERE! <laughs> I don't even picture, like, they're stabbing and killing them. They're just pushing them off. Yeah. Get out of here, man. Uh, okay, you missed that one. Good. Oh, okay. god. He missed, so they won't come uh, up here. Oh, uh, no! Okay, I got them, I got them. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm actually gonna save it here because this part gets a little crazy. Those guys are like fucking ping pong balls. Yeah. They just get a little blah and then <laughs> a little blah. A little blah blah. A little diggity that. All right. Next time on Chin Strap Chaps. Uh, Next time on Chicken Chaps. <laughs> I was tickling his naked tummy.